Chapter 26. The fights finally come to an end. So the fights between the Holy Knights and Rimuru have finally reached its conclusion with Rimuru and subordinates having defeated all the paladins who challenged him. Now he is faced off against two female demons who were surround, summoned by the Seven Days Clergy all just to kill him. The two demons are very powerful and could give any Arimuru subordinates a run for their money if the demons ever attacked, attacked them. Looking at them, Rimuru saw their ore to be demons releasing and he was impressed. The yellow demon was has by far the highest mana has ever seen, excluding those of true dragons. Mana was practically pouring out of her, which greatly impressed him. The purple demon has no laughing matter as well. Her mana, true, her mana is nothing compared to that of the yellow demon, but her way of mana is shaped shows him that she has trained and refined her fine spirit to its absolute maximum. Raymer should compare the level of her mana. If Raymer should compare the level of her mana, then you would say that she's slightly bigger than that of Shinon's currently. Raymer kept of reserving them before he saw that the two demons were ready to attack him, which puts him on guard. The yellow demon rushed at Rimuru with an, with an inhuman speed and punched him right in the face. But Rimuru stopped her punch with his finger. The yellow demon, seeing this, seeing that her punch was stopped with such ease, became very confused, but didn't let that confusion slow her down. She covered both her hands with the yellow ore and began to punch Rimuru at an inhuman speed. Rimuru def continued to deflect her attacks with his finger, which frustrated the yellow demon a lot. She jumped back and glared at Rimuru. What the hmm is your finger made of? I felt like I was punching titanium just now, the yellow demon said with, fus asked with frustration. Rimuru gave her a cold look and prepared to attack her, but no, the death spell has been de detected above you, Sailor informed him. Rimuru looked up and saw saw that the purple demon above him with a huge Rimuru looked up and saw the purple demon above him with a huge ball of death energy in front of her. She shot the huge ball of death energy at Rimuru, which was moving at a speed of a speed faster than sound. Rimuru didn't have time to block or dodge and just took the attack head on before the attack impacted on Rimuru. He created a barrier and that covered and protected Sheena and the rest from rest of them from the death energy. He didn't want to risk no didn't want to risk knowing if they have resistance to such an attack. Once the attack touched Rimuru, it caused a huge explosion that shook the area. After the explosion, a huge purple mist of death began to spread around the area. The purple demon landed bes beside the by the side of the yellow demon. Do you think that attack killed him? She asked the yellow demon. Only one way to find out, the yellow demon answered. The area shook again, and the purple mist began to gather at the, to the center where Rimuru has out has hand outstretched, just out. Rimuru had activated his skill, Void God Azoth, and ate all the purple mist of death in the area. After he was done, he looked at the two demons, who were still on guard. That was a death spell. A spell designed to kill the target regardless of his defense. Sadly, that kind of power is useless on me, Rimuru told them. Don't act so cocky. Just because you survived that attack doesn't... You're only a melee demon lord who thinks way too highly of himself, the yellow demon shouted at him. Rimuru ignored her and continued. I have a proposal for you two. For the two of you. Which is, the purple demon cautiously asked. I want you to be my subordinates. You two are strong and will be a great addition to my nation. What do you say, Rumor asked them. The two demons were surprised by the request and looked at Rimuru to see what his true intentions were. Finally, the old demon asked, I will never serve anyone, someone who is weaker than me, the old demon declared. We demons pride ourselves to being strong and have strong masters. If you want our allegiance, then you have to prove to me that you are strong and have to subdue me, subdue me in a fight, the, the purple demon told Rumuru. 
Remember nodding his head at that. I see. Very well. I will beat you two and prove to you how strong I am. The old demon got ready to fight. If you can, that is. The old demon flew into the air and released her, released her skill. She began to gather a massive amount of magic in, t in order to release her strongest skill. Strongest skill. The purple demon, seeing that the yellow demon was about what was the yellow demon was about to do, jumped and flew in the air to observe the outcome of her fellow demon's attack. The yellow demon continued to gather mana until it was ready. Take this, gravity collapse. Gravity collapse is a spell that is created when the core of the magic black flame core is released and expands the produce expands to produce the flames of destruction. By compressing the two cores of gravity collapse can be formed. Compression means that supergravity is created. This the easiest way to explain it is that it produces mana made man made black holes. This disrupts the gravitational field of the planet, creating localized supergravity field. Anyone caught in the influence of the hyper compressed space will be crushed. The strongest spell of the yellow demon. The reason she used this move is because every instinct in her body is telling her that the being she is challenging is dangerous. She confirmed this after the little exchange she had with him, and he was now blocking with her, and how he was blocking her with such ease. She knew in her heart that she couldn't win unless she brings out all the stops she has at her disposal. Which is why she used this move on Rimuru. She released the spell. Gravity suddenly went haywater, and the force increased. Anyone under the, its influence would be crushed. Rimuru, and Rimuru was no exception to this. Rimuru felt the force of gravity suddenly increase around him. The force was overwhelming, and had it been anyone else in his situation right now, they would have been crushed under the force of the, of power. But for him, it took a few seconds, but his body. Got used to the force, and he remained standing. Rima looked up and saw that he, that he was inside some kind of compressed space. If he could describe it in words, he would say he was in a black hole. He saw all the energy in the space being focused at a singular point. Single point. The energy was spinning, and a supernova began on the ground where he was standing. Not the whole area was covered in the supernova. A dark pillar connects the heaven and the earth, and the earth became hotter than the sun. Where is the CL? Rimuru asked him. Rimuru asked. Answer. This is a nuclear strike magic gravity collapse. It encompasses all magic and physical phenomenon, and, it's an, and is an all-attribute attack. It, is, it requires a huge amount of control to release its... To release, to release this magic. The reason this is because if the caster loses control, the explosion will resort that can be considered as big as the Big Bang. Bang. That is one dangerous spell. Will it affect me in any way? Rimmer asked. Negative. The attack is powerful, Master. Master. The wild attack is powerful. Master has multiple dimensional barrier that surrounds him at all times. And the level of attack not damage the body of a true dragon. I see, in that case, Rimuru drew his, out his sword. He had a little bit of pa his power to his sword before sla he slashed. Shinon was watching the fight inside the barrier Rim that Rimuru created. She, ha she was surprised when she saw that the spell and the level of magicals it contained, but she believed that her master to prevail. Shinon, are you... You have been quite quiet for quite some time. Now, are you worried about Lord Rimuru? Bimaru asked her. Shinon turned to Bimaru and smiled. Do not worry about me. I'm just excited to see how our master will handle those two demons. He does want them to be his abhorrent, so I, he wouldn't kill them, so he said. Bimaru nodded his head. Indeed, those two are very powerful, and their powers are on par with a true demon lord. It will greatly boost our forces if they joined us. Shinaru became excited. That's what I mean. That's what I thought too. Frankly, that we are lacking two strong women in Tempest. And 
these two joining us will make it so that I'm not the only strong female subordinate of Lord Rimuru who can rival a true demon lord. What are you talking about, demon lord? Are you worried about demon lord Malim? She is strong and can rival Lord Rimuru if she gets serious. So you said, she doesn't count. She's the few. She's the bride of Lord Mumuru and the future queen of Tempest. It is our duty to protect her as well, since Lord Rumor said so. Shinon said, Enough of you. Enough you two. It seems that Lord Rumor is making his move now, Bimara told them. They all... They all watch to see what Rumor will do. The Eldian was observing to see... The explosion that occur that would occur as a result of her spell, but something unbelievable happened. A sound of grass, glass breaking was heard, which was followed by a huge shockwave, which pushed her and everything else back. She looked into what she, a shocked she looked on with a shocked look as her spell was broken into tiny pieces like glass. The gravity collapse was shattered into pieces when Rimmer slashed his sword. Not just that, the earth and the heaven were shaken by the force of his swing. The old demon was astounded by what she witnessed. The nuclear strike magic destroyed by just a swing of this demon lord. This was beyond crazy. This level of power might be on par with red. She was starting to... She was still staring at Rimuru. And the, that the... She was still staring at Rimuru. And the purple demon had to shout to get her attention. If you get out of the way, Jane, this attack will kill you if it touches you, the yellow, she shouted at the yellow demon. The yellow demon turned and saw that the purple demon was releasing a huge amount of mana. She flew out of the way to observe. The purple demon released her spell, Hell Flame. This purple flame spell, that, this is a purple fire spell that burns. One, ten million times harder than the sun. This spell instantly turns anyone who touches it to ash, regardless whether that person is a spiritual being or not. It can even burn through a concept. Oh, that's so powerful. A massive magical circle appeared in the air above Reamer and released the flame on him. Everything in the area was turned into a lava due to the spell. The spell was massively harder than Bimaru's Hell Flare, which is just an intimidation imitation of this spell. The spell descended on Rimuru, who was observing the spell. Void god Azathoth was all Rimuru had to say. Before the whole flames and the magic circle itself got swallowed by Rimuru, <clears throat> Theo began to analyze the spell that Rimuru consumed, which didn't take her too much time for her. The two demons could not believe that a monster like this even existed. The old demon couldn't take any more. What the hell are you? How can you counter those two spells like that? She shouted at Rimuru. Rimuru smiled at her. What do you two like to know? That doesn't matter what... It doesn't matter what you did. That power of yours must have taken a lot out of you, the purple demon said to Rimuru. Don't get cocky, you two. That wasn't even a fraction of what I can do, Rimuru told the, told the both of them. Both the demons had a shocked expression on their face after hearing that. You were lying. You're just a deceiver, the yellow demon shouted at Rimuru while pointing at him. Rimuru smirked at them. Am I? Well, I will prove it to you. This spell I'm about to use is something I learned from observing that Holy Knight Sayer spell. I hope both of you can withstand. The two demons got ready and embraced themselves for what Rimuru will do. Rimuru raised his hand and everywhere began it became bright. Lines of magic began to descend from the sky, and there were, and they were all heading towards the two demons. This is holy magic, which is a weakness to demons. I hope you two can survive it. Rimuru casually told them. The light got brighter until it covered both demons. The light was so bright that it covered not only the both of the demons, but cover also covered the entire area. After the light died down, both demons had was seen on the ground. With smoke coming out of their bodies. From their bodies. Rimuru approached the two demons. Approached the two down demons and looked at them. Had enough? The yellow demon weakly looked at Rimuru. I surrender to you. And accept you as my new master. The purple demon 
Weakly nod her head. Same with me. Rimuru smiled and raised his hand to both demons. Immediately a bright light covered both of them, which healed all of their wounds. The two demons were once again astounded by the powers of Rimuru. True, truly master, is anything Is there anything you can't do? the old demon asked. Let's leave let's leave you two to figure that out. Now then, what are you what are both of your names? The two demons looked at each other and looked at Rimuru. We don't have a name, Master, the yep, purple demon answered. Yeah, people usually just call me the yellow demon, Jane. And, but that doesn't actually, but that is not actually my actual name since I don't have any, the yellow demon answered. Rimuru nodded at this. If that's the case, then how about I give you two names? Truly, Master... <laughs> We don't mind, but it would be, but will it be all right? The purple demon asked. Don't worry about it. You two are now my subordinate, as as your master is my duty to name you two. Rimuru told them with a smile. The old demon smiled. Thank you very much, master. Rimuru nodded before he spread out his wings and released his true dragon, the his true aura of a dragon. The two female demons fell on names due to how overwhelming his aura is. This is the true form of my master. This power is unreal. We never stood a chance, the yellow demon whispered to herself. He was only twin with us the whole time. <laughs> I'm glad to serve someone as strong as you, master, the, yellow, the purple demon said to herself. Rimmer raised his hand to the two kneeling demon in front of him. Demons can't exist in the mortal world without a body or vessel. Or vessel. That is usually the case, but when I'm involved, a black ore came out of his pan and covered both demons. I am Rimuru Tempest, the fifth true dragon to ever exist. A bright light covered both demons as both of them felt that their whole body felt that their whole body was changing. It felt to them like they were being reconstructed from scratch. I have recreated both of your both of you and granted the both of you the perfect body to use and serve me. Henceforth, the purple demon will be known as Caria, and the purple demon will be known as Ultima. Serve me well from now on, you two demons. The aura surrounded both demons and vanished. The aura surrounding both demons vanished, and a huge amount of Rumor's power was bestowed bestowed on on them. Both of their outfits had changed after the transformation, and the magic tools have gone through the roof. Both of them opened their eyes and looked at Rimuru with smiles on their faces. With smiles on their faces. We promise to serve you for all eternity, my lord and master. Karia said to Rimuru. Likewise, my lord. Ultima said as well. Rimuru nodded and turned to Bimaru and the rest. Before he deactivated his barrier and was covering them. I was covering them. Bimaru, Soye, and Shinon walked up to Rimuru and the two female demons. Congratulations are on you are congratulations on your victory, Lord Rimuru, Bimaru said. I knew that you would win your Lord Rimuru. I never doubted you for a sec, Shinon said with excitement. R Rimuru sweat dropped from Shinon's excitement. Well guys, meet Ultima and Karia, my new subordinates. Bimaru brought out his hand to Karia. A pleasure to meet you two. My name is Bimaru, and I'm the chief of all military affairs with Lord Rimuru. Carrier shook his hand. The pleasure is mine, Bimaru. I am Carrier, a demon serving my new lord and master, Rimuru. Shinon went and hugged Ultima from behind. My name is Shinon, and I am the first secretary of Lord Rimuru. My, you are so cute. Why does she have to be stressing the word first? Well, she's introducing herself to people, Rimuru thought with a sweat drop. Ultima nodded. Thank you. Thanks for the compliment. I'm Ultima. And I'll be serving my new lord from today. Okay, guys. Since the introdu introductions are done, let's go back, Rimuru said to them. They all nodded their head, and Rimuru clicked his fingers, which transported them all back to their forest. Don't, that's all for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe today to become one of my domestic listeners. Goodbye, and... Peace out, everyone.